Ni hao Beijing! Welcome to a brand new series, The Daily Field Goes to China! In the next two episodes, we're going to show you Beijing's history, the people, culture, more people, sites, some more people, cuisine, and a lot more people. Food and travel is your passion, and this channel is don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get your regular dose Before of the Before we start the tour, let's talk about the essentials. We were granted a single entry tourist visa which costs 1,400 pesos four days after our application. We booked Manila Beijing round trip tickets via Cebu Pacific for only 3,700 pesos. We picked up our 4G SIM card with 3 gigabytes of data, enough for our 5 day stay which we purchased via Club for 560 pesos. Beat the Great Firewall of China by downloading multiple VPNs before arriving to access your favorite social networking sites. Astral VPN is the only one that worked for us. at the Emperor Tiananmen Beijing for 5,000 pesos a night, located 400 meters away from Tiananmen Subway Station. So we just finished checking in at our hotel and we're now on our way to the supermarket to buy some food. Our accommodation did not come with free breakfast, so para makatipid, bibili na lang kami ng pagkain sa supermarket. Pakuha na lang. How Beijing, it's a uh day two of our China adventures. This is the first time that we're gonna discover the city of Beijing. What do we have in store for today, John? So for today, we're going to visit Tiananmen Square, Forbidden City, and we're also going to visit some parks like the Jingshan Park. Follow us on today's adventure. See you later. Bye-bye. It's currently summer right now here in Beijing. Average temperature is around 30 to 35 degrees Celsius, but unlike the Philippines, it's not very humid. We're now on our way to our first location, Tiananmen Square. It's just a couple of blocks away from our hotel. Saturday, so it's expected the summer having So we definitely have to consider that when uh, planning to visit uh, the Tiananmen Square in Forbidden City. It's gonna be super extra crowded. Brandaming mga local tourists. Karamihan mga local tourists yung mga kasabay na dito. We're just going with the flow. So the gates to the Forbidden City just opened an hour ago. And look how many people came in. We are here in the room of Forbidden City. It's a bit hard to appreciate the place because it's so crowded. And we're now heading to Jingshan Park, which is overlooking the entire Forbidden City. So we're really looking forward to it. Panoramic 
that's just day two of our China adventures. So see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's day three of our China adventures. Medyo tanghali kami gumising ngayon. Si gusto namin magpagabi. Later on, you're gonna find out why. Uh, what do we have in store for today, John? Um, we're going to visit another UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is the Summer Palace. We're going to visit Beijing Olympic Park. So, nandito na kami ngayon sa Summer Palace. This is just maybe two minutes away from Beigong Men Station. The entrance fee is 60 RMB. Medyo mahaba po yung bilang. Filipino! This is our first stop, Suju Street, which looks like uh, more of a, a waterway. stretch we finally made it right here on top of tower of incense pero kahit napakataas na namin hindi pa rin kami nililubayan ng mga turista lupang dahil Dami din Stress na stress na kami sa dami ng tao But again, we're still thankful that we're here in May Sa aming napaka-stressful na pagbisita sa Summer Palace Palabas na kami ngayon ng Olympic Green Station at papunta na kami ng National Stadium. I'm really excited about this one. Right behind me is the Beijing National Stadium, more popularly known as the Bird's Nest. It served as the venue for the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2008 Beijing Summer Olympics. In this coming 2022, it will be repurposed and used again for the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2022 Winter Olympics. the light show radio nalit kami but it was still very beautiful we are now right here inside the bird's nest and we can't believe it this is the closest that i can get to attending an olympic event so we're very happy we paid 120 yuan to see the light show and have access to the rooftop so we're gonna do that later Ito na kami ngayon sa tuktok ng bird's nest overlooking the entire city of Beijing. It's pretty amazing, medyo nakakalula but it's nice to see the unique architecture of the bird's nest from uh, the top. Good morning everybody, it's day 4 of our China adventures. Today is the big day, we are about to see 
the Great Wall of China. After traveling via bus for two hours, we have made it right here in Jinshan Ling. This is the not so known section of the Great Wall because it's two hours away from the city. It will be worth it because there are less tourists in here compared to the other sections. So we're really excited and um, we'll see you there at the Great Wall. So, nandito na kami ngayon sa entrance ng Jinshan Ling section of the Great Wall. So far, so good. It looks promising. Look at that. Wala masyadong taos. So, nandito na kami ngayon sa cable car. We're on our way to the starting point. So far, mga nagasos namin, 50 yuan for the bus ride, 65 yuan for the Great Wall entrance, 10 yuan for the shuttle bus, 60 yuan for the round trip uh, cable car ride. So, medyo maaray-aray na kami sa gastos. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. I'm gonna be touching the Great Wall for the first time. For the first time. At nakaka-isang tower pa lang kami pero lawit dila na agad kami. Yes. Medyo mainit. Every once in a while, merong cool breeze. But for the most part, it's very sunny. Again, we're still thankful that we are right here in the Great Wall of China. Dati sa history books lang namin to nakikita. Would you believe it? Nandito na kami. Yes. Nahawakan namin. Nilalakaran namin. It's really amazing. Maganda talaga dito sa Jinshan Ling dahil napaka-konti ng mga turista. So, hindi kayo mahihirapan na mag-roam around kumuha ng magandang pictures. But yes, we definitely made the right decision na dito magpunta sa Jinshan Ling kahit na medyo kailangan namin siyang dayuhin dahil uh, for the past few days na nandito kami sa Beijing, lahat ng pinupuntahan namin punong-puno ng mga local tourists. So, itong Jinshan Ling, walang masyadong taos. why we chose to visit the Jinshan Ling part of the Great Wall is that it features both the raw and restored parts of the Great Wall. nakatakot namin kasi kanina puro kami pababa. So ngayon puro kami paakyat para kami umakit ng bundok. So pauwi na kami. It took us around 3 hours to explore the Great Wall. Pinuntahan lang namin yung umpisa nung unrestored part. Tinignan lang namin yung paligid. Satisfied na kami. Uwi na kami. And that concludes another episode of The Daily Field. We hope this video inspired you to visit Beijing very soon. Until next time! 
travel now. Deal later. Shi shi. Your regular dose of the daily fill. Shi shi. Isa pa. Sabi tayo dun. Until next time, travel now. Bills later. Meow. And this is a bihin mo din yung travel now. And that concludes another episode of the Daily Fill. We hope this video inspired you to. Bata siya ka